Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics, and we're going to show you cherry tomato plant care. First off, we want to do is get our soil ready. So we want to till it. We want to add a bunch of compost to it. I like to do four to six inches every planting season. We can till this in, or we can work it with a shovel. Smooth that guy out. And, of course, we need a cherry tomato. This one is called Ghost Cherry Heirloom. We're going to make a fertilizer mix. This is just one that I do and I, that I like. It's a bone meal, green sand, and neem seed. Phosphorus, potassium, and nitrogen. Just equal parts, just whatever you're going to be needing. You could also use just an all-purpose fertilizer. Okay, first off, we're going to dig ourselves a trench. Gives it a good start if we do a trench. We're going to put some of that fertilizer mix, a couple of tablespoons, work it into the soil. We can go a little bit deeper right there. Create a little pillow for his neck. Cover it all up. This is a cherry tomato, so they're going to grow big. We've got a tomato cage. If you got a bigger one, certainly use a bigger one because he'll fill it. Let him grow up this. About every three weeks or so, we want to come in here and give him some more fertilizer. You can do it as much as every two weeks if he's producing really heavy. To, uh, they're heavy feeders and they produce a lot, as you know. So we're just going to fill in this little circle that we've done around the tomato, about six inches away from the trunk. Cover him up. Water him in. You'll do that about every two to three weeks. Some other things that we want to do is have adequate water. So what I've got here is a drip tape. It emits water every eight inches. So it's going to let the water go directly down to the roots, not get the leaves itself, give it a good deep watering, keep the soil moist but not soggy. As he grows up, you don't really need to prune these guys because they just go kind of wild anyways, and that's why you want a nice big cage. Like I said, something bigger than this. Depending on the type of soil you got will depend on how much water you actually give this guy. Like I said, you just want it to be moist. You don't want it to be soggy. If, you're, if your soil hasn't been amended, you can add vermiculite, peat moss, and more compost to it uh, at the beginning when you're preparing your bed. That'll make him happier because they love to be in good tilt. So this guy's already starting to get a few blossoms on him, so we're looking at maybe 30 days or less before we start getting a few little tomatoes on this guy. He'll go all the way through the season until frost, and great for salads, great for munching on when you're in the garden. There's some tips for you.